What's up everybody, it's the PA. And today we're making fish soup. Let's get it going. All right, so today we're gonna turn this into this, a Portuguese style fish soup. And I'm using a sea bass to do this. And I'm gonna show you how easy this is and how delicious it is. So let's get it going on that fish soup. Obviously for the fish soup, we're gonna need a fish. Here I have a sea bass, a snapper will work, a hearty fish, something that's a whole fish that you're gonna use to make the initial broth with. And thanks to my mom, she actually cleaned the fish for me and got it prepped up, so thank you mom. You can see the inside of the fish has been completely cleaned, it's been trimmed, the scales removed, and if you don't have a mom at your local fish market, you can ask them and they'll do it for you. So our fish is ready. And again, I'm using a sea bass, but you can use other fish. Here we have a buca negra, which is a snapper if you don't have that type of fish you can use a tilapia or any type of whole fish so here I have a pan with some water into this I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of onion and then the whole parsley is gonna go in there a little bit of lemon some salt and then to this we're gonna go ahead and add our fish again to this I'm adding a sea bass but you can add any hearty white flaky fish that you have and it's best to add the whole fish obviously you need the fish bones to make the broth i also just added a little bit of garlic on there and we'll go ahead and let this simmer i am going to add a little bit of pasta to this some orzo but traditionally the place that i go to in portugal they only serve it with just a little star pasta and nothing else but i will be adding a few potatoes to mine and as you can see here this is the actual soup in the restaurant in portugal that i get and you can see they add pasta and nothing else i'm also going to be adding some onions and tomato to the soup. So the first thing I'm gonna do while we have our fish cooking is basically cut the potatoes and dice them all up into little cubes as I'm doing here. And again, here we have our fish, it's simmering. While we're doing this, we can prep our vegetables. I went ahead and peeled that tomato and got rid of that skin. And boom, there it is. And here we have our tomatoes and our potatoes ready to go. For the spices, we're gonna be using a little bit of turmeric, a little bit of saffron, some paprika. So even though we're making our own fish stock, I recommend that you use a nor fish cube. And if you don't have a nor fish cube, just use a nor chicken cube. But really, this is gonna enhance the flavor and I recommend it. And it's one of the secrets of Portuguese cooking. I'm gonna have all the links to everything that I'm using in the description, so check out the description. So after about 15 minutes, the fish is fully cooked and it's ready to be removed. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit here so it can cool down and then we're gonna go ahead and remove that fish. So here we have the stock. I took it, drained it, filtered it, and put it into a bowl. So while the fish is cooling, we're gonna go ahead and put some olive oil in the pan. And we're gonna take all our ingredients and just saute a little bit. So we'll start it off with the onions here. Let them render it down a little bit. And then to this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our tomatoes that we chopped up. So in goes the tomatoes. We're gonna go ahead and just let them render a little bit with the olive oil. You can go ahead and throw a little bit of salt in there if you want. We have the potatoes going on here now. And then to this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our spices. We're gonna start off with the paprika here. So I'll put a little paprika. And I'm doing this just eyeballing it. A little saffron on there as well. And then after the saffron, what we're gonna do is put a little bit of turmeric as well. This is gonna add a little bit of color. You don't have to go too crazy with this, but this gives it a nice little color. And now we're going to go ahead and mix all those spices together with the vegetables that we have here, the potatoes, and really start the base for our soup. We want to make sure all these spices mix in with the olive oil and the scent of these spices comes out. So here I'm going to go ahead and chop up some parsley. Usually I put this at the end, but I put it here just, you know, to add a little bit more flavor to it. Um, but we're going to garnish the soup towards the end. We're going to put some parsley. So here's our fish, it has cooled down, this is our sea bass, and we're gonna basically remove all that meat from the fish and remove the bones from the meat. So that's what I'm doing here. Now when I grew up, I grew up eating fish. We didn't have baby food, that's what we did with our hands. I know my way around the fish, but if you never did this, just go slow, and usually around the edges of the fish, that's where the most bones are, and then there's that big bone right in the middle. So you wanna go ahead and lay it down like I'm doing here, and just go through it and just remove any little bones that you see. This part could be a little time consuming if somebody hasn't done this before, but go through it, go through it thoroughly, make sure you remove those bones and you'll get the hang of it. Uh, once you do one side, you basically do the same thing to the other side by removing that big bone in the middle 
and you'll see what I'm talking about here it is here as I remove this uh, you can see you're left with the other side here and it's the same thing just remove those bones around the edges usually that's where they are you can see I'm feeling them and then removing them again it's important that you go through this a little slow but you remove everything you can remove some of the skin if you want sometimes I leave it on depending on the type of fish but let's go ahead through this let's speed it up and you can see how I do this All right, so you can see what's left here, basically all the fish bones, and then we have a plate of nice, beautiful fish. You can see we're left with some flaky chunks of white fish, and this is what you want for the soup. You want the fish to shine, and you want to be able to see that fish. So here we have our stock that we did earlier, and basically I'm going to add it to the pan that has the potatoes and the vegetables and those spices. And we're going to let it all come together and mix that flavor of the fish stock, the spices. Now, I am going to throw a fish bouillon on here. If you don't have fish bouillon, you can go ahead and throw a chicken bouillon. But really, that's going to add more flavor. Um, you don't have to, but I like to do that. So we're going to go ahead and add our orzo. Typically, the place I go and get this soup, they use the star pasta here. But we have orzo. It's the same thing. We can go ahead and throw that in there. And we're going to let that mix and come to a boil. And then we're going to simmer it. Now, notice I didn't throw the fish right away now that it's simmering I'm gonna go ahead and throw the fish in there the fish is already basically cooked so you want to throw your fish in there after the vegetables and the broth and everything else has come to a boil and now you're letting it simmer um, also to this I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of tomato paste it's basically tomato here with a little tomato paste mixed in together to bring some of that flavor you don't want to put too much tomato or too much tomato paste but you want a little bit to give it color and give it a nice sweetness to the soup and what you're going to do now is you're going to let this simmer on low heat for 15 to 20 minutes and while you're doing this while you're waiting 15 to 20 minutes go ahead and do what i do here open a bottle of wine a nice glass of white wine and enjoy yourself while the soup is simmering now that it has simmered for 15 20 minutes one of the signs that will tell you that the soup is ready is if the pasta looks like a doubled in size and it looks ready and the potatoes are tender. Now that our pasta has doubled in size, the potatoes are tender, the soup is ready. We're going to go ahead and spoon that into our bowl and we're going to enjoy this with some nice white wine. This is the kind of soup that you can enjoy on a cold day or really any day. It doesn't really matter. Uh, here I left a little bit of the fish so I can garnish the soup once it's done and I'm putting a little parsley on top. And here you have it. It looks really good. It's hearty. It's flavorful. It's just a really nice soup to enjoy. And here you can see the pasta is fully cooked. The potatoes are nice and tender tender compared to the soup at my favorite spot in Portugal mine is a little bit more hearty but that's the way I like it I like it to feel hearty I like to see that fish shine and be the star of the dish and it looks really good and the thing with the soup is the more you let it sit the more flavor it gets and the tastier it becomes so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you give this a try thanks for watching leave a comment let me know if you tried it let me know if you liked it don't forget to subscribe for more videos put a like this is the PA we'll see you on the next one